Hi, this is Rich Brooks. It's good to have goals in life, in business, field hockey. And so that's why today I'm going to show you how and why to set up goals in Google Analytics. Generally, we have a website because we want somebody to take a desired action at our site. Maybe it's to sign up for our email newsletter, to fill out a contact form, to pick up the phone, or to register for a class. In certain businesses, you may have specific goals. If you're a real estate agent, you may want people to view at least three houses before they leave your site. If you're a media company, you might be curious to know how many videos somebody watches while they're there. Now, there are a number of goals we can set up, a number of things we can track within Google Analytics, but probably the most popular one is destinations. Now, with the destination goal, what we can do is set up a goal for when somebody lands on a specific page, their destination. And if you've got an online contact form, for example, generally what you want to do is send them to a thank you page after they've completed it. Now, assuming there's no other way to navigate to that thank you page, and why would there be? then you can further assume that anybody who ends up at that thank you page has filled out your contact form and thus completed that goal. In the administration section, in the view column, go down to goals and choose that. Click on new goal. And here you can see there's a number of preset templates that you can choose from. You can also create a custom goal down below. We're going to go into Acquisition, Submit, Contact, choose that, and continue. There's a few different types we can choose. We're going to choose Destination, click Continue, and here's where we're going to put in the URL for a web page. Now we're not going to put in the full URL, we're only going to put in the slug that comes after the domain name. If we want, we can assign a value as well. If you had, uh, if a customer was worth $100 to you, and out of every 10 people who filled out your contact form, one of them became a customer, then the value of that lead would be $10. Next, we can choose to include a funnel. A funnel is important if you want to track the pages that came before this to qualify them as an actual, somebody who completed a goal, but in this case, we don't want to do that. We can also choose to verify this goal by clicking on this. We can quickly see what our goal conversion would, rate would be for the past seven days. And once we're all set with this data, we can click Save. Now this goal will begin running. Now that was a brand new goal, so we don't have any data set up for that. But let's take a look at another Google Analytics account. And as you can see here in the conversion section, that in the past month this site has had 48 goal completions. You can see the goal value that's been assigned to those goal completions, the conversion rate. Because there's no funnels on this, there's a 0% abandonment rate. And then the different goals that have been set up, each one saying how many goals have been accomplished in the last 30 days. In addition, if we go into acquisition, we can also break down goals, and this just shows goal number one, based on where people came from. And now the goals will actually appear in a lot of the reports that we're running for Google Analytics. With goals enabled, you'll be able to get more meaningful information out of your Google Analytics and improve your marketing efforts. Now, if you've got any questions about setting up your goals in Google Analytics, or really any questions about Google Analytics at all, feel free to leave that question in the comments below and we'll get back to you. And if you need help setting this up, whether it's the goal specifically or anything related to Google Analytics, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. You can click on that link up above or feel free to click on the link in the description and we'll get back in touch with you. Thank you. This has been Rich Brooks and good luck setting up and accomplishing all of your Google Analytics goals.